Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Ticket. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys an Android 12 feature that was just released that is now available on Android 12 devices, such as this Pixel phone right here. And I'm gonna show you how to apply it to the Samsung Galaxy smartphones. Now, this is gonna work with most Samsung Galaxy smartphones. So let me show you the feature that I'm talking about, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to actually set it up. All right, so the feature I'm talking about has to do with the power button and Google Assistant. So with Android 12 on Pixel devices, now what you have is you have the option to press and hold the power button, and that's actually bring, gonna bring up the Google Assistant for easy and convenient access. Now normally, to activate this on Android 12, here's the new option. You go to your settings, you go all the way down to system, then you go into gestures, and at the bottom, it says the power menu. When you click on this one, you can now hold the power button for assistant. Normally, what happens is you press and hold. When you press and hold this button, it brings up the menu to close the phone and stuff like that, okay? But if you enable this, it's gonna allow you to access Google Assistant with the power button, and now we can do that on the Samsung Galaxy smartphone as well. In this video, let me show you how to get that done. So let's bring this to the forefront and set it up right away. Now real quick, let me show you that it's actually working. So I'm gonna press and hold. What's the weather like in New York today? In New York City today, Okay, it'll be so it is in fact working. So let's dive in. Now to accomplish this setup, you do have to download an application. Now this application is officially made by Samsung. So this is not gonna be a third party application. So what you wanna do is you wanna click the link down below and that's gonna take you to my website. Once you're at the website, here's what you wanna download. You wanna download the GoodLock application and then you wanna download the Routine Plus application. First thing I recommend you do is click the link for GoodLock. When you click this, it will take you to the Galaxy Store. And again, this is a Samsung application. Once you have this, you can click open, install and open. Uh, once it opens up, all you wanna do is you wanna make sure that in this list here, the Routine Plus is in fact installed. You can click this link right here that will take you to the store. And from there you can install this. Additionally, you can also uh, go to the website and if you click this link on the top, okay, that will take you directly to the Routine Plus application to install that. Now, that's step number one. Let's set the whole thing up. So step number two is gonna be, you are gonna launch the GoodLock application. I have it right over here. Then once this is installed, you're gonna click on Routine Plus. That's gonna take you to Routines Plus. And then what you wanna do is once this loads up, you wanna make sure you click on this setting here that says Location-Based quick access. So when you click this guy, here's what you have to do. So what you're gonna say is, if I press the power button. So you're gonna set that up, it says not set. So you click on this guy, and then you choose the power button. In this case, it is called the side button for some smartphones. And then you're gonna choose interaction, press and hold. So if I press and hold the side button, then I want the phone to do certain things. So let's pick up the then real quick. So I'm gonna tap on then. We are gonna come back to the place here and we're gonna clear that, okay? So just, just keep watching. So tap on this one. And what you wanna do now is you want to search for Google Assistant. You wanna have this option, Open Assistant. And if you don't have this, it's very easy to get it. All you do is you go into your Play Store and you search for Assistant, all right? Uh, assistant for Android, and all you wanna download is this, Google Assistant, get things done. You may think this is pre-installed, but it's actually not. So make sure this is installed. Once this guy's installed, and I go back into my Routines Plus application, you are gonna see under Assistant, Open Assistant. You can type in Google, or you can just type in Assistant, all right? So we're gonna click on this guy, and then I'm gonna say on Done. Now the last thing you have to do from this perspective is you have to go to place, tap on it, and simply pick, pick your current location, not a big deal. So I'm gonna do that right now. So whatever shows up here, that's fine. Just say done, done. We are gonna delete this in a second anyway. And now I'm gonna save this. Before I save this, 
you want to go up here to location based quick access and you want to just give it a name okay side assistant um, I'm just gonna say side assist okay and then I'm gonna tap on done and then I'm gonna tap on save as soon as you do this everything is good to go as long as you're in this location now what you want to do this is gonna be the final step is you want to go to your settings okay and then you want to go into advanced features all right and then all you do is you go down a little bit here into Bixby routines that's a routine that just get, got saved right here so what I'm gonna do is make sure you go to my routines to see what you just made okay side assist I'm gonna tap on this gun right over here and then you're gonna tap on edit and you are gonna remove this condition the place the location condition so this thing works everywhere so I'm gonna tap on this one now that's gone and then you tap on next as a final step and you know give it a name give it a icon whatever you want tap on done and now you are done all right now if I go back in we only have a simple if and then statement if I press and hold the side button launch assistant all right and again let me show that to you one more time press and hold what's the weather like in you, uh, France right now right now in Paris it's 55 degrees and clear all right so that is absolutely fantastic now this is in fact an Android 12 feature that has been available on Samsung via the good luck application again it's an official Samsung application so nothing to worry about now if you have any questions comments or concerns drop them down below uh, let me know for now guys have a fantastic day all right all right so if you found this video useful make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video and if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.